Thank you for joining part three of our family adventure, Sea Days on the Eurodam. We start with helping Shyla select the perfect book to begin the two and a half day voyage to our first Caribbean port. Then we did a little bit of wandering around the ship, which was made quite difficult as we found ourselves heading straight into a tropical storm. Even the camera's self-stabilizing mode had a hard time keeping up with the sudden jerks and sways. We found ourselves in the midst of a crowd as passengers gathered around for the tree lighting event, while Christmas cookies and very hot beverages were passed around. They also celebrated each night of Hanukkah on board. Oh my gosh, that is boiling water. Oh, I just lost some tongue. Well, let's hear it for our fantastic carolers. Okay, so we're going to go three, two, one, and then what I need from all of you after we get to one, I need the whole room to shout Merry Christmas, and as we yell Merry Christmas, I need you to shake those jingle bells. Feel free to face the tree, you shake those jingle bells, and we see if we've got enough holiday spirit here on the Eurodam to light up the tree. What do you think? Think we have enough holiday spirit in here? Yeah. I think so too. So let's count it down. Three, two, one. Deciding we should find a safe place to sit down, Thomas and I went on the hunt for the perfect espresso martini. We found it on the second try. Each of our next two days began the same way with breakfast and lunch in the dining room. Sunday evening, the captain announced we were sailing through the Bermuda Triangle and still very much in the path of the storm. They kept us occupied with our first fancy night. Every evening as we enjoyed our dinner, our cabin stewards transformed our cabin into a four-person sleeping quarters. We prepared for the busy port days ahead by resting, relaxing, and watching a movie together. Our last full day at sea included an afternoon in the crow's nest playing board games, and drinking fancy coffees. That evening, as the storm really picked up, we enjoyed our first Nami Sushi experience. Each item is handmade to order by a single chef. We were amazed at how quickly our table filled up, looking beautiful and delicious.
Make sure you subscribe so you're ready for part four, as we dock in our first port, Phillipsburg, St. Martin, where we rent a car and head straight to the French side of the island. Rolling hills of green. Yo. How do you say yo in French? Oh, there's some animals running around. 